Today on MTG Unpacked, we're taking a look at the Dominaria United Commander deck, Painbow. So this is a five color deck. The commander here is Jared Carthalian. And let's take a look here. So you do have a bunch of colors here. Looks like a control deck, I'm gonna say. We'll find out when we get into it. We've got a 100 card deck with 10 new cards, deck box 10, double sided tokens, display commander, life will, strategy insert and reference card. And I forgot about the collector booster sample pack. So that's fun. So these go for about 40 bucks US. So a little bit on the pricey side, but hopefully they've juiced things up here enough to make it worthwhile. Uh, we've got this new packaging here. This uh, Jared Carthalian just printed on here. A little more environmentally friendly than they used to do. And here we have a debt box. There's the commander. And we've got a divider here. So I'm guessing you could probably sleeve the cards up and it would just fit in here. Uh, we've got a couple of other goodies we'll take a look at. But first, let's see what's in the Collector Booster Sample Pack. So this isn't anything to get too excited about unless you get a crazy pull. Just two cards in here. I think it's like a common or uncommon or something and a rare or mythic. So what's this? Just an ad card. Okay, so we get a Foil Valiant Veteran. Okay. And Zar Ojanen. Scion of a Favra. Okay, so stained glass and a rare or mythic. Okay, and then we do have this uh, life counter here, goes up to 40 and then counts down from 20 on the other side. And then we do have this flyer here, so let's take a look at this. Painbow. So this tells you about how to play the deck. So the idea is that to stabilize and establish your mana base, that's going to be really important because you've got five colors to worry about. And then playing multicolored spells. We've got some commander rules here in case you're new to the game. It's actually one of the most popular formats in Magic. And here is some lore about Jared Carthalian. Awesome. So the thing I'm most curious about is how are they going to tackle the mana base here? Because you imagine five colors, you're going to be sort of limited there. Like, how are you going to divide it up? So let's see, we'll dig in, separating out, where are the lands? Normally they have a bunch near the end. Okay, they're just distributing stuff everywhere. Okay, so we've got our basics here, and there is a display commander, so we'll take a look at that first. So this is just a hard cardboard thing. They used to have oversized cards, but you can notice the foil etching there. Mythic! Okay, so we'll pop that up there, and get into the deck. So let's cut it like so. And we have Jared Carthalian, Legendary Planeswalker Jared, 5 loyalty for 5. His plus 1 create a 3-3 Kavu creature token with trample that's all colours. Minus 3, choose up to 2 target creatures for each of them. Put a number of plus 1 plus 1 counters on it equal to the number of colours it is. Minus 6, return target multicolored card from your graveyard to your hand. If that card was all colours, draw a card and create 2 treasure tokens. Jared Carthalian can be your commander. All right, and then we get a, another uh, commander here. We've got Jensen Carthalian Druid Exile. Legendary creature human druid. So it's another mythic 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, scry 1. If that spell was all colors, create a 4-4 four, four white angel cre creature token with flying and vigilance. And for five tap, you get to add every color of the magic rainbow. Okay, so that's one way you're going to be able to generate that mana you need. Uh, we've got some lands already. Interesting. Bad River. It's a land. Enters battlefield. Tap. Tap it. Sack it. Search your library for an island or swamp card. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle. And Abzan Charm. Instant for three. Choose one. Exile target creature with power three or greater. You draw two cards and lose two life. 
or distribute two plus one plus one counters among one or two target creatures. And we've got the Arcane Sanctum, it's land and it's battlefield tap, tap for white, blue, or black. And Beast Within, instant for three, destroy a target permanent, its controller creates a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. Crumbling Necropolis, another land enters battlefield tapped, tapped for blue, black, or red. Explosive Vegetation, sorcery for four. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto battlefield tap, then shuffle. Okay, so that's how we're trying to get all the colors of mana out that we need. Felwa Stone, artifact for two, tap to add one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. And Floodplain, enter the battlefield tapped, tap it, suck it, search library for a plains or island card, put it onto battlefield, then shuffle. Frontier Bivouac, that's a mouthful, enter the battlefield tap, tap for green, blue, or red. And a Fusion Elemental, every color of the magic rainbow, wow, 8-8. Eight, eight. Creature Elemental, that's cool. Just a vanilla creature though, but still pretty... Uh, Powerful. Grasslands. It's a uh, land enters the battlefield. Tap, tap, suck it. Search your library for a forest or plains card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And Jungle Shrine enters the battlefield. Tap, tap for red, green, or white. Crow Sand Verge enters the battlefield. Tap, tap for colorless for two. Tap, suck it. Search your library for forest card and plains card. Put them onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. Is this deck like all lands that we? Keep coming across those, interesting. Migration Path, Sorcery for four, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle. You can cycle it for two. Mountain Valley, we're getting everything here. Enters battlefield, tap, tap, suck it, search your library for a mountain or forest card, put it onto battlefield, then shuffle. And Mystic Monastery, enters tapped, tap for blue, red, or white. Naya Charm, instant for three, choose one, it deals three damage to target creature, return target card from a graveyard to its owner's hand, or tap all creatures target player controls. Nomad Outpost centers, tapped, tap for red, white, or black. And Opulent Palace, enters battlefield, tapped, tap for black, green, or blue. Okay, so a ton of lands there. And it looks like we're moving on to some instants and sorceries now. We've got Path to Exile, so this is pretty iconic. Instant for a single white, exile target creature. Its controller may search a library for a basic land card. Put that card onto battlefield, tapped, then shuffle. Path to the World Tree, enchantment for two. So when it enters battlefield, search a library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle, and for two, and every color, sacrifice it. You gain two life and draw two cards. Target opponent loses two life. Path to the World Tree deals two damage to up to one target creature and you create a 2-2 two, two green bear creature token. Anything else you would like with that uh, menu there, sir? Rocky Tar Pit, a land, enters tap, tap for, or tap, sack it. Search a library for a swamp or mountain card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And we're back to the lands again. Sandstep Citadel enters tapped, tap for white, black, or green. Savage Lands enters tapped, tap for black, red, or green. Seaside Citadel, seriously, are we getting every named land in the game? Enters tapped, tap for green, white, or blue. Saltai Charm Instant for three, choose one. Destroy target monocolored creature, destroy target artifact or enchantment, draw two cards, then discard a card. Sylvan Reclamation, instant for five, okay, exile up to two target artifacts and or enchantments, and it has basic land cycling too, so you can freeze frame that, read about it if you're not sure about that. Transguild Courier, artifact creature golem 3-3 three, three for four, it is all colors. Interesting. Two-headed Hellkite. Creature Dragon 5-5-4. Five, five, what is that? Six with every color. Flying Menace Haste. Whenever it attacks, draw two cards. I'm thinking that might be one of the new cards here. Tiller Engine. Artifact Creature Construct 1-3 for two. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, tapped and under your control, choose one. Untap that land or tap target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Unite the Coalition, instant 4-7. Choose 5, you may choose the same mode more than once. Target 
permanent phases out. Target player draws a card. Exile target player's graveyard. Unite the coalition deals two damage to any target or destroy target artifact or enchantment. And again, a multicolor card there, five color. We got Falaji Wayfarer, creature human scout, two, four for three. It is all colors and this ability doesn't affect its color identity. And multicolored spells you cast have Convoke. Interesting. Iridian Maelstrom, sorcery for five in every color. Destroy each creature that isn't all colors, yeah. Basically, unless your opponent's playing the same deck, that's going to be pretty powerful. Mana Cannons, enchantment for three. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, Mana Cannons deals X damage to any target, where X is the number of colors that spell is. Primeval Spawn, creature avatar, 10-10. For 10, what? If it would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast or no mana was spent to cast it, exile it instead. Has Vigilance, Trample and Lifelink. When it leaves the battlefield, exile the top 10 cards of your library. You may cast any number of spells with total, total mana value 10 or less from among them without paying their mana cost. This is like a beefy end of game type dude. We've got Obsidian Obelisk, Artifact for 2, enters Battlefield, tap, tap for colors, tap to add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a multicolored spell, and you have tons of those here. Arcalos Lagoon Mystic, Legendary Creature Turtle Shaman 2, 4 for 4. As long as he is tapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped. As long as Arcalos is untapped, other permanents enter the battlefield untapped. And Baleful Strix. Artifact Creature Bird, 1-1 one, one for 2, Flying Death Touch, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. And we're back to the lands again. Canopy Vista, tap for green or white, enters tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Cascading Cataracts, indestructible, tap for colorless for 5, tap, add 5 mana in any combination of colors. We've got Cinder Glade. Land, Mountain, Forest, tap for red or green, enters the battlefield, tap unless you control two or more basic lands. And Coalition Relic, artifact for three, tap to add one mana of any color, or tap, put a charge counter on it. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all charge counters from Coalition Relic. You get to add one mana of any color for each charge counter removed this way. Crystal Quarry, another land, what a surprise, tap for colorless, five tap. Add every colour. June Blast, Sorcery 4-7. Uh, choose up to one creature, destroy the rest. Exotic Orchard, another land. Tap to add one mana of any colour that a land an opponent controls could produce. And Fey Burrow Elder, Creature Tree Folk Druid, 0, zero for 3 with Vigilance. It gets plus 1, plus 1 for each colour among permanents you control. And tap for each colour among permanents you control, add one mana of that colour. And a bit of a misprint here with the little uh, holograph thing. Uh, Hero of Precent 1, Creature Human Warrior 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Yeah, we've got a bit of a an issue here with the printing. Okay, um, bit off-centered as well. Knight of New Alara, Creature Human Knight 2-2 two, two for 4. Each other multicolored creature you control gets plus one, plus one for each of its colors. That is going to be pretty insane in this deck. Lavalanche, sorcery for X, black, red, and green. It deals X damage to target player or planeswalker, and each creature that player or that planeswalker's controller controls. Merciless Eviction, sorcery for six, choose one. X all, all artifacts, all creatures, all enchantments, or all planeswalkers. And back to the lands again, Murmuring Bosk. It's a forest tap for green, enters battlefield. You may reveal a tree folk card from your hand if you don't. It enters battlefield tapped. Tap to add white or black. It deals one damage to you. Painful Truth, sorcery for three. Has converged, you draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of colors of mana spent to cast this spell. And Prairie Stream, tap for white or blue. Enters battlefield tap unless you control two or more basic lands. Radiant Flame, sorcery for three, converge, it deals X damage to each creature where X is the number of colours of mana spent to cast this spell. And Selvala Explorer Return, legendary creature elf scout, two four for three, 
has Parley. Tap each player reveals the top card of their library. For each non-land card revealed this way, add green and you gain one life. Then each player draws a card. And Smouldering Marsh. Tap for black or red. Enters battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Okay, are we going to get any more lands? That pretty much answers the question. How are you going to get a solid mana base out of this? Seriously, we've got Solemn Simulacrum, the sad robot. Artifact creature Golem 2 2 for 4. When it enters battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. And when Solemn Simulacrum dies, you may draw a card. We've got Sunken Hollow, uh, tap for blue or black, anticipated field tapped, unless you control two or more basic lands. Time Wipe. Sorcery for five, return a creature you control to its owner's hand and destroy all creatures. It does seem to have a lot of control stuff here, like removal and uh, bouncing things back, exiling, that sort of thing. We've got Glintai Nephilim, creature Nephilim, and that's what that looks like. Two, two for four. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw that many cards, and for one, discard a card. It gets plus one, plus one, until end of turn. Atla Palani Nest Tender. It's a mythic. Legendary creature, human shaman, two, three, for four. For two, tap, create a zero, one, green egg creature token with defender. And whenever egg you control dies, real cards from the top of your library and to reveal a creature card. Put that card onto the battlefield and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. <clears throat> and I think that one is from Ixalan or something around that time. Or at least the character is. Maelstrom Nexus, another mythic enchantment for five. Every colour again. The first spell you cast each turn has Cascade. So you can read more about that there. Another mythic Chromanticore, every colour of course. Enchantment creature Manticore has Bestow two and every colour. Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, and Lifelink. And this is a 4-4 four, four. Enchanted Creature. Gets plus 4, plus 4, and has Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, and Lifelink. That is insanity. And another Mythic. We've got Okagachi, Vengeful, Kami, Legendary Creature, Dragon Spirit, 6-6-4. Six, six, what is that? 6. Flying and Trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, if that player attacked you during their last turn... Exile target, non-land permanent that player controls. And another mythic. Zaxara the Exemplary. I think I've seen this in one of the other commander decks in recent years. Legendary creature, Nightmare Hydra, 2-3 for 4, Death Touch. Tap to add 2 mana of any one colour. Whenever you cast a spell with X in its mana cost, create a 0-0 green Hydra creature token, then put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. We've got a Lunar Apex of Wishes. From, um, what's it called again? Uh, uh, Ikoria, yeah. Legendary creature, beast, elemental, dinosaur, 6645. Has mutate for three, and that color combo there. Has flying and trample. Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent card. Put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. So basically you're just stacking the cards on top of each other for each mutation you add. Maelstrom Archangel Creature Angel 5-5 five, five for every colour. It's another mythic. Flying, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. And Nethroi, Apex of Death, another one from Ikoria. Legendary creature, Cat Nightmare Beast, 5-5 five, five, for what is that? 5. It has mutate for 4 on that colour combo there. Death Touch Lifelink. Whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And Rien, Angel of Rebirth. Legendary Creature Angel, 5-4 five, for 5. It's another mythic. Flying other multicolored creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0. And whenever another multicolored creature you control dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Sarak, Dragon Claw, Legendary Creature, Human Warrior, 6645. Flash, this spell can't be counted. Creature spells you control can't be counted. Other creatures you control have trample. It's pretty powerful, that one. Uh, Zyrus, the Writhing Storm, Legendary Creature, Snake Leviathan, 35 for 5 flying. Whenever an opponent draws a card, except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, create a 1 1 green snake creature token. 
And whenever Zyrus deals combat damage to a player, you and that player each draw that many cards. Abundant Growth. Enchant my aura for a single green. Enchant land. Anticipate field. Draw a card. And the Enchanted Land has tapped to add one mana of any colour. Again, another great one for mana fixing. Arcane Signet. Artifact for two. Tap to add one mana of any colour. And your Commander's Colour Identity. And Coiling Oracle. Creature Snake Elf Druid. One one for two. When it enters battlefield, will the top card of your library, if it's land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. And Command Tower. This is one you see frequently. It's a land. Tap to add one mana of any colour and your commander's colour identity. Cultivate. Sorcery for three. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal them. Put one onto the battlefield. Tap down the other into your hand. Then shuffle. Echoing Truth. Instant for two. Return target non-land permanent and all other permanents with the same name as that permanent to their owner's hands. And Evolving Wilds. Land, tap, sack it. Search your library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Explore. Sorcery for two. You may play an additional land this turn. Draw a card. And Farseek. Sorcery for two. Search your library for a plains, island, swamp or mountain card, put it onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Commander's Sphere. Artifact for three. Tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. And if you suck it, draw a card. Growth Spiral. Instant for two. Draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Kadama's Reach. This is an, another good one. Sorcery Arcane for three. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reel and put one onto the battlefield. Tap down the other into your hand. Then shuffle. Terminate. Instant for two. Destroy a target creature, it can't be regenerated. Prophetic Prism, artifact for two. When it enters battlefield, draw a card for one tap. Add one mana of any color. And search for tomorrow's sorcery for three. Search your library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, then shuffle. And you've got suspend at two for a green, so you're basically uh, being able to play that card later. Terramorphic Expanse, land, tap, sack it. Search your library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle. And I just noticed something. We have not seen a soul ring. What is up with that? Wizards, well done. One of the first commander decks I've done without a soul ring. It's a bit of a joke at this point. It's an auto include. So forest, we've got three of those, basic forests. And then two mountains and then islands, two of those. And two plains. And two swamps. So this deck is stuffed full of every land you can imagine. Let's take a look at the tokens here. So we've got a 3-3 Kevu. This creature's old colours has Trample on the other side. Angel 4-4 four, four with Flying and Vigilance. So another one of the same thing. Oh, this guy. you got the Kevu and a Beast. So a 3-3 three, three Beast. Another Kevu and a 2 2 bear. Got a 1 1 human with a 1 1 snake on the other side. Same deal. So that's two of those, three of those, 1 1 snake, and a 0 1 egg with defender. Okay. Another 1 1 snake and an egg again. Snake. Is this, oh, this is something else. We've got a zero zero Hydra. And parts of your turn. And popular magic formats. Commander by far, I think at this point, is the most popular. So this is one of the crazier commander decks I've seen in a while. I've never seen anything with so many lands, but it makes total sense because you've got a five color deck here. A lot of spells relying on the multicolored cards. And hosing your opponent if they're not multicolored. Uh, a lot of removal. And I think the idea is you just keep whacking down the mana. Uh, removing your opponent's stuff or countering things. And then you put on some beefy things. Either um, high casting cost or lots of counters. And that is how you win the game. So leave a note in the comments what you think of this deck. I would have to say this is probably my favorite of the two. We'll be taking a look at the other one shortly. So that one is Legends Legacy. So stay tuned for that. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.